This may work for a really unique air turbine design, more like a Tesla turbine. That's something you may see later in another video. Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. I'm working on a Tesla turbine design. This is a quick, easy prototype I put together. The inner wheel you see inside of there is the toner wheel to an old copying machine. Uh, what I've done now is taken some plexiglass and made a case around that toner wheel with about a piece of paper's thickness between the two of them. So a very, very narrow tolerance between the two of them. Here at the end of this, you can see I have a bearing there for the toner wheel. And I've just got plexiglass glued all together. It's uh, got a seal here all the way across to keep our air pressure correct. If I walk you down to the other side, see I've got a knob on there right now. And I'll take that off here in a minute and pull it all apart before I seal this up. Uh, to show you what's in there, that's our air out behind the knob right now. Here's our air in with our first tangent hole that we're going to force air, compressed air, into this sleeve. So how a Tesla turbine works is by forcing compressed air or steam around a very narrow corridor between a spinning shaft and a case. What you do is you create a positive pressure zone and the air will actually wrap like a tornado all the way around that cylinder, touching the cylinder many, many times as it goes across it, a lot like a turbine without the blades. Once the air gets all the way down to the end here, you'll notice there's a gap between the case and the end of the drum inside of there. The air is going to come across, drop through that gap and into the inside of the drum, which I'll pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And that'll be our negative pressure zone. So we have a very narrow tolerance here. So it's going to create high pressure all the way across this, swirling it around. It's going to drop inside and it's going to go into a much larger chamber and create a negative pressure zone. Now that tornadic effect will come back through the cylinder again and out our three output holes that you can kind of see at the tip of my finger back in there in the plexiglass case. We have three of those in there and I may need to make them a little larger, but I figured to start small, we can always take material away. So we've got once again the air input here for a single input. We're going to put four or more on this. We did this clear so we could inject smoke into the Tesla turbine and we can inject different colors and see where they whirl together, see their patterns. This allows us to do a bunch of uh, test manufacturing to be able to produce a better product out of stainless. Uh, so anyways, let me go ahead and strip this apart. I'll set up the camera on the tripod and I'll show you what it looks like inside. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just pull this thing apart for you and let you see how it comes apart, show you the inner pieces. I'll bring the camera up closer so you can see some of the simple parts that are part of this. And we'll take the knob off, you can see the trays. So here we go, the first part of this is going ahead and pull the drum out of here. So there we go. And there's our drum, let me hold that up to the camera for you. You can see here the light's kind of bad there, but uh, it's just a toner drum, it's got the spindle all the way through. You can tell here it's just a hollow drum of aluminum. And it's got just uh, keyways or a flywheel on either side of it holding the bearing shaft here. And I can take the wheel off the other side. We've got plastic wheel on there, so reverse thread, which is perfect for what we're doing. So let me take that off. You'll be able to see the output holes here in the plexiglass. Let me take that off of there so you can see them. So there's our plexiglass bearing holder and our output holes for the Tesla turbine. This is where the negative pressure going down the inside of the turbine will come out these three holes. And like I said, there's probably going to be a little bit more size to those holes than I'm going to need, but I have a feeling that's really close. So we can always take material away a lot easier than adding it. Uh, that's just simple. It just holds your bearing, has your output holes. Once again, there's your toner wheel. You can see through it probably a little bit better now if I hold it up there to the camera in the right angle. You can see what it entails inside of it, just a drive shaft all the way through. You got your two flywheels holding onto the actual case here. Uh, the rest of it is very simple. So it's just a plexiglass tube that I made. I rolled that in an oven around a piece of three inch hard iron pipe. I've glued in the rear side of it with the bearing holder already set in place, ready to go. Uh, we've got our air input right here, like I showed you. And that's basically the entire system, folks. All right, folks, here we go. We got our Tesla turbine all set up. Hopefully with the hole right here at the end in the camera, you can see the RPMs of that hole, It'll give you an indicator how fast we're getting going. There we go, got the angle just right. Take a second for it to start speeding up. Now we're getting faster and faster here.
That thing is humming now. If that compressor wasn't in the background, folks, you'd notice this is extremely quiet. Right now, it's really cruising.